Thanks, Amanda. Hi, everyone. Thanks for hopping on today and joining us for our webinar Wednesday. Like Amanda said, we're going to go over the Carfax recalls. Um, so this is one of URG's newer programs that a lot of you may not already be set up with, but this is free to all of our members. Um, before we get started, I'm going to jump into our statement. Um, our antitrust statement. So as participants in this meeting, we need to be mindful of the constraints of antitrust laws. There shall be no discussions of agreements or concerted actions that may restrain competition. This prohibits the exchange of information concerning individual prices, rates, coverages, market practices, claim settlements practices, or any other competitive aspect of an individual company's operation. So each participant is obligated to speak up immediately for the purpose of preventing any discussion falling outside these bounds. All right, so like I said, we're gonna go over the VRSS batch recall program, so what is it? So the Vehicle Recall Search Service, or VRSS, as I've been discussing, is provided by Carfax in partnership with the Alliance of Automobile Manufacturers in the Association of global, global automakers. So again, this program is available to all URG members at no additional cost. I wanna stress that because this is a huge benefit to our members that, like I said, you may not be utilizing yet. Um, because it is a newer program, a lot of people may not be fully trained on it, which is what today is mostly gonna be about. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and then how to actually access these um, recalls. Um, it may be a quicker webinar, so um, if you have questions, please save them for the end because we'll have lots of time to address those. Um, so I just want to go through these two bullet points. So if URG is receiving your vehicle data, you can automatically send all of your vehicles that have not been crushed or sold to VRSS nightly. So you'll be able to run a report on all of the vehicles that have recalls and of those recalls, which ones have airbag recalls. You can also enter in your email address to receive email notifications daily on newly entered vehicles that have recalls or previously submitted vehicles that have a new recall. So this is a huge point as well. So this will take out that manual process of you having to search every single vehicle or bin for a recall. It will email you every morning any new recalls or um, any new recalls on previously submitted vehicles. So how do you register? So I'm gonna show you a couple of screenshots after I go over this, but if you just wanna know the how-to, um, this would be where you start. So if you already have an account with VRSS and would like to opt in for the batch program on URG sales support, you will see a new menu option called recalls. So that's where you can opt in to start using the program. For a lot of you that don't have an account with VRSS, which is kind of where we've seen most of the uh, members be, um, but you wanna get signed up, so you just log into URG sales support, you go to the menu option under store maintenance, go to field labeled VRSS recalls, choose opt-in, choose the opt-in box, fill out the information, click accept, and then we'll receive an email and contact you once it's completed. So again, don't worry about that too much because I'm gonna go through it here next. So step one, go to urgsalesupport.com. Um, this is where you access all of your URG business tools. Um, if you aren't familiar with this website, go ahead and book it and then call Amanda or I, because if you don't know this website, we definitely want to get you trained on how to get here and what programs you have here. So we'll log in. And then again, in order for you to get signed up, you're going to have to go to the store maintenance tab on the left hand side once you hit that login button. Um, this will be on the URG net settings on, on the right hand side once you get there. Um, and where you'll see is this VRSS account. It'll show not registered or it'll show opt-in. Um, so we can't do this for you. I wanna stress that to you guys um, because it is something that you have to register for. You're gonna have to click that opt-in. It's not something that you can say, hey, can you opt-in for me? Unfortunately, we can't because it's gonna ask you some questions. So this is what it's gonna pop up. Um, when you opt in that box, this is going to be the information that it's requesting. It just asks you some simple questions here. Um, your first name, your last name, your email, your phone number, what your title is at the company, and the VIN volume per day. Um, you just have to make sure to check this box to agree to the terms, and then make sure to click accept. So once you follow this step, that sends it to URG. So Carfax will get this request. It'll look like this. This is not very important to you guys, but this is what it sends to Carfax. So once your application has been approved and accepted through Carfax, URG will actually get the notification. And the notification um, 
we get it and then we email you. So this is a sample email of what you'll receive once we um, get that approval. This is what we send to our customers. Your Carfax application has been approved. Um, you can now use the recall hotkey, which I'll go over in a little bit. And then you can also enter your email address to receive those daily notifications. And then we put the steps in here as well. So to actually opt in for those emails, um, it's, it's another step. So once you get, once you just register, you're not done there. Um, you'll have to wait for that approval and then you'll have to do this second step to receive those daily emails. Um, this is one thing I really want to stress because we have a lot of customers who jump on and they're like, okay, I opted in, I got the email from URG, but I'm still not getting those daily emails. So this is where you're going to do that. Um, again, you're going to be on URGSalesSupport.com. You're going to go to the side here and you're going to look for the recalls. Um, once you click recall, it'll look like this and you'll click to opt in for schedule updates. So once you click that button, your screen will look like this, and over here is where you're gonna put your email address in and click update. So that is how they will know to send you an email every day and what to send it of. So once you put your email address in and you start getting these updates, not only will it send it via email, but it'll also populate in this field down here. So as you can see, this yard had a couple of stocks um, in here. It'll tell you all the information. Um, and let's say that this first line here, um, you pulled that recall, you're done with it, you don't wanna see it anymore, you'll just check complete and be done. Um, another way you can see is if there's additional information, there's gonna be a plus box right here and it'll tell you all the details on that recall. So like I mentioned, there's other ways to view recalls. Um, we can do recalls through our core reports. Um, if you're a part of our core program, um, this is another outlet. Again, you can view those. Um, the core program is an additional fee, but once you're on that core program, you'll be able to do it this way as well. So this is going to be the pre-dismantle core report for those of you using it. You're going to go to the VIN tab right here, and then you're going to select a Carfax lookup. This only, again, is going to work if you have opted into the program. If you're not opted in, it won't um, even let you do this. Um, but you'll put the VIN right here where I marked it out, and then you'll click Go. And it'll look like this. It'll say Recall Information Found. So not only will it show you all of the cores underneath here, but it'll also show you that there's a recall found with that. So it just kind of takes another manual step out of that. Um, you'll see right here it says please click here to view it. So I clicked there and it takes me to this screen and it'll tell me what my recalls are. You can see over here that it says repurchase and there's an X. Um, that just means nobody's repurchasing that right now, but if they were, you would see a link to sell it to them. So one other way that you can view recalls is our recall hotkeys. Um, this is, again, another huge benefit for our members, as you can see on this screen right here. We have quite a few recalls available, or sorry, quite a few hotkeys available to our members, but the two that I highlighted here is going to be the manual recall lookup, which is on my computer, Control-Alt-B, they're all different, or the just plain recall hotkey, which is Control-Alt-F9 on my computer. So once these have been enabled, you can see here, you can use it on the search results screen or the vehicle screen. And you can do this for not only the VRSS, which is the Carfax recalls that we're talking about today, but also on the NSVRP recalls, which is the government re reporting or the RAS recalls as well. So you can use this in quite a few different ways. Um, again, you have to opt in to view these and it quickly and easily searches for the recalls before dismantling for all of these um, different programs at the point of sale and it grabs that bin to show you if a recall is listed. So like I said, this was a really short webinar, but I hope it was beneficial to all of you who didn't know about the batch recall program or haven't completed your setup. Um, Amanda and I are um, very well versed on this and so we're happy to help you or answer any questions that you guys have. Um, super simple to get signed up and we really hope that you guys utilize this um, benefit. Um, while I wait for questions to come in, I do want to let you guys know that we're working on a virtual web series coming up next week. Um, these are going to be really great educational sessions that we hope you guys jump on and um, to view. Um, as you can see, we have two different speakers every single day next week. This will be sent out an announcement later today. Um, but just wanted to let you know, Monday we have Rob Rainwater speaking at 10 a.m. on the do's and don'ts of running a recycling facility. 
We have Mike Kunkel talking on Monday at 3 p.m. about self-service best practices. On Tuesday, we have Tim Wall at 10 a.m. talking about body shop expectations, and then Jim McKinney at 3 p.m. on the industry is changing, are you? Wednesday, we have Chad Counts talking about the sales counters that pay for themselves. And then Wednesday afternoon, we actually have our CEO, Don Porter, addressing coronavirus challenges. Thursday, we have Neil Scherzinger, why telehealth is good for everyone and here to stay. And then Jen Wilson on staff appreciation. We'll finish it up on Friday with Lee Warman on making sales goals a reality and then Dan Snyder with growing people. So I hope you all are able to join and we'll go back and make sure you guys don't have any questions.